Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a really, really fast way of making a rope in Blender. I've seen some people use empties and stuff, it was a bit awkward, so I made it very simple, as simple as I can. So let's get straight into it. And if you stick around to the end, there's a little bonus tip for you right at the end of the video. First, you want to go into top view with 7 on your numpad. Then press Shift and A and add in a circle mesh. Go down into the properties and we'll change it to 12. So it's a bit low resolution. We want to press G then Y of 1 and then GX1 again, so it's in this position. Right click and set origin to um, 3D cursor, as long as your 3D cursor is still in the center. Then what you want to do is go and press three on your numpad to go into side view and rotate it, press R45, so it's in a 45 degree angle. Press seven on your numpad to go back into the top view. Press Shift D and right click to cancel the movement and press R90, so it rotates 90. And do that again two more times. So this is what you get. I like them all and press Ctrl J, so they're all one, one object. Once you've joined them together, press Ctrl A and apply all the transformations. Go into your modifiers and attach a screw modifier. And you can just simply change the number of meters on your screw. And just like that, you've got a rope. It is really, really fast and really, really simple. You can change iterations then, uh, so you get more and more. If you wanted to add this to um, a curve or something so that you want to manipulate, just add in, say, a bezier curve. You can add whatever curve you want. Um, go back onto your, your mesh, add a modifier, a curve modifier. Click the bezier curve, and then change it to Z. You might not see it very well, because you'll need to scroll, um, shrink it down. So scale it, scale it down, or press full stop on the numpad so you can zoom in. You can scale it down, and as you see, this is the Bezier curve. We'll just up our iterations and it'll follow the Bezier curve. So we can just do this and manipulate it however we want. And if we keep adding iterations, it'll follow the curve. It's that simple. One thing you want to do is on the right hand side, you want to click Merge on the screw modifier, and under your normals, you want to flip it. And I'll show you why. If you go into your face orientation, currently facing the wrong way. So if we, if we make sure we click this in the first place, then it's all flipped the right way and all the shading and everything will be perfect. And that is it guys, it's very quick to knock up a rope in uh, Blender. I hope that was useful to somebody. Uh, as I said, it was very, very fast. Very fast tutorial this, this time around. But uh, I needed to, <laughs> the amount of times I've needed to make rope um, for projects and I keep forgetting the quick way of doing it. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to make a video to just remind myself sometimes. But yeah, hopefully it'll help you guys too. Thanks for watching. If you're if you liked the video, please click the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the channel. It really helps. And I'll keep making more videos. Cheers, guys. A little bonus tip, guys. You might want to join your um, rope onto a circle. If you do the same and add a curve modifier onto the circle, you make sure the deform is on the z-axis. And you can increase the amount of iterations so it all nearly hits together. But you've got overlap in geometry here. To fix this, you want to click go into edit mode. Press A on your keyboard to highlight everything. Press M and merge by distance. You see it hasn't merged yet, but if you just increase this merge distance slightly in the bottom left corner, you can see it all flows back in on itself perfectly. And that is now one smooth transition of rope in a circle. You can have a subdivision and it's all, it's all perfect. There's no geometry inside of one another on this. Just a little bonus tip for you. And I hope it was useful.